Hey guys, what's up? So today we're actually going to be looking at converting from decimal to binary, okay? And here it says the binary number equivalent in base 2 is obtained from the remainders under division by 2, okay? Um, so what does that exactly mean? Uh, what does that mean? It means that uh, we're going to divide an, an a base 10 number by 2 multiple times in order to get the binary equivalent okay so let's do an example um, let's start with 9 okay so let's look at the number 9 in base 10 and we want to convert this to base 2 okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna divide this 9 by 2 um, I'm gonna draw a long line here because we're gonna be doing a lot of divisions right and we're going to divide this 9 by 2, and we should get 4, okay, with a remainder of 1, okay? So, all right, so we're going to continue. We're going to divide this 4 by 2, and 2 can go into 4 tw 2 times with a remainder of 0. So there's no remainder there. Then the next one, we're going to divide this 2 by 2 again, and we're going to get 1. 2 into 2 gives you 1, and the remainder is 0. Then we're going to divide this 1 by 2, right? And I would end up with 0, right? With the remainder 1, okay? So based on this division now, all right, what we're actually going to do now is we are going to uh, draw the number, okay? We're going to take the this 1, 0, 0, 1 down here. But we actually start from the bottom to get the first number, all right? Uh, so this no would be one, is which is the first number. This zero would be the second number, so zero. This zero would be the third, so zero here. And this one would be the fourth, okay? So one. So that means nine to the base 10 is actually equal to one, zero, zero, one to the base two, okay? So this is how we always do it, guys. We basically read it from bottom up, okay? So this number is first, this one is second, this one is third, and this one is fourth. And we always go bottom up um, when we're converting from decimal to binary, okay? So let's look at another example. All right, guys, so let's look at this example. Uh, this one says convert 25 in base 10 to binary, uh, to a binary number, okay? All right, so all we have to do now is the same thing we did earlier. Let's write out the 25, right? Uh, let's draw a huge line here because I'm going to be dividing a lot, right? Um, so the first thing we're going to do is divide this 25 by 2. Um, 25 divided by 2 should give you 12, right, 0.5. So the remainder would be 1. So we're going to get 12 here, and the remainder would be 1. Cool. Then 2 can divide 12 without leaving a remainder. You're going to get 6, and the remainder is 0. And 2 can go into 6 as well without leaving a remainder. So you're going to get 3, and the remainder is 0. Then you could divide 2 by 3, and you actually get a remainder. You're going to end up with uh, 1, remainder 1, right? Then the last one is going to be 1 divided by 2, and you're going to get 0, remainder 1, okay? All right, so we're going to write this out now. It's going to be 1, then 1, then 0, then 0, then 1, okay? Okay, so that means that 25 to the base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 to the base 2. Cool? Great. Pretty easy, guys. Let's look at another example. Always good to do three examples, okay? All right, guys. So the next example says convert 147 to a binary number, okay? 147 to the base 10. All right, guys. So we're going to have a lot to divide in here. So let's just put this one uh, right up here, okay? And I'm going to draw this right down. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is divide by 2, right? And we actually should get 73 here, right? 73 multiplied by 2 would be 146, leaving a remainder of 1, okay? 
Then the next one would be you divide it by 2 again, and we'd actually get 36. 36 times 2 would give you 72, and it would leave your remainder of 1. Okay, now 2 can go into 36 without leaving a remainder. You'd get 18, remainder 0, right? Then 2 can go into 18 without leaving a remainder as well. You get 9, remainder 0. Then 2 into 9 would actually give us 4. All right, 4 times 2 would give you 8 with a remainder 1. We leave a remainder of 1. 2 can go into 4, which would give you 2 with a remainder of 0. Then 2 into 2 would give you 1 with a remainder of 0. Then 2 into 1 would give you a 0 with a remainder of, of 1. Okay? All right, guys, so let's write this out now. We're, we're going to end up with 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1. Okay? All right, guys, so let's write it out up the top. Okay? Um, that means that 147 to the base 10 is actually equal to 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 to the base 2. Cool. All right. And that's it, guys. So that's the third example. And I think that's it for this video. Um, we're actually going to look into adding binary in the next video. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So that's it. And... I'll see you in the next lecture and remember to do your best and God will do the rest.